In this video, I'll show you a kayak fishing trip where I caught two striped bass, including my third keeper of 2020. I also caught the largest cunner I have ever caught at 14 and a half inches long, and also some small pollock. At the end of this video, I'll also show you the dishes we cooked with all this fish. These dishes were awesome. I started out using the sabiki rig and immediately caught this cunner or bagal. I've caught other cunner before, but they're much smaller. This one was 14 and a half inches long. That's the largest cunner I've ever seen. Amazing! This fish is similar to tatug, tatug, which are generally larger and have sharper snout and larger human-like teeth. I also caught some live mackerel and some small pollock. I then trolled the live mackerel close to the rocks. I got lucky and caught my first striped bass right there. It was an awesome fight. The fight and the wind brought me close to the rocks and I had to paddle out away to safely fight the fish. It measured in at 27 inches, so this was not a keeper and I successfully released it back into the ocean. I then hooked one of the dead mackerel on a circle hook in through the chin and out through the forehead to keep its mouth closed. Um, I don't have live well, so this is my secret weapon in catching striped bass. Try it out! I put a small weight on it and trolled it around the rocks again. I was patient and paddled slowly around the rocky shoreline. I got one tug on the mackerel, the bait remained on the hook, then I got hit and the fish fight was fun. This was a fun fight, the fish and the wind again brought me close towards the rocks so I had to paddle out to the open water to fight the fish. Any fight with a striped bass is a lot of fun. I enjoy hearing the reel pull away and feeling the fish pull my kayak across the ocean for a little sleigh ride. It's putting you up have a to remain fight. vertical and be ready for any unexpected movements with the fish. So here is my third striped bass for 2020. Awesome! This has been a difficult year for everyone with the COVID-19 virus, but kayak fishing is a perfect mm. activity for social distancing. And I've actually had a pretty productive year on my kayak, kayak fishing this year. So here are the dishes that my wife and I uh, used, to, uh, used to prepare and cook with the fish. We cooked the cunner with a Greek recipe, seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic. We cooked it over a bed of olives and potatoes, and the fish was delicious. You know, people may consider the cunner a trash fish, but for a large cunner like this, there's a lot of meat and the meat was just soft and flaky and delicious. We cooked the striped bass with three dishes. This is the striped bass with a ginger, lime, and soy sauce marinade. We cooked the fish in my cast iron skillet. This is my wife's go-to recipe for fish and this dish is absolutely delicious. Try it out. This is a Filipino dish called kinilao. You eat the fish raw like ceviche, ceviche or sashimi. Um, I marinate it in one cup of white vinegar, uh, the brand is Datu Petit, and let the fish marinate in it for about 10 minutes. Then you drain the vinegar. Uh, I then add one cup of coconut milk, red peppers, cilantro, shallots, garlic, and lime juice. You can't get fish that's fresher than a fish you just caught yourself, not even in a sushi restaurant. Eat this fish over rice and you'll love it. Lastly, we used the head of the fish to cook a Filipino fish stew called sinigang. You know, whenever we catch a fish, we honor the fish, we cook everything, we eat everything. This dish uses tamarind juice or calamansi juice in a broth, and you cook it with beans, spinach, radish, onions, and tomatoes. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. If you have any tips on how to catch and cook striped bass, Please share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, check out my fishing and cooking playlists.